Yes, I am Eduardo Bancalari, and I am a professor of pediatrics and uh, obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Miami Miller Medical School. Yeah, the reason why I decided to go into pediatrics was really very broad, was a long time ago, so I, I may not even remember all the details, but basically uh, pediatrics offers a specialty where most of the issues can be resolved completely, and what we do has a long-lasting effect because we are talking about people who will live 80 or 90 years. And uh, I think that there is also a much wider open field in terms of possibilities for research and trying to improve the care that uh, children are receiving. Uh, why I went into neonatology, similar reasons. At the time when I went into neonatology, was, this was a very new uh, field with a tremendous opportunity for improvement. Uh, we knew very little. And uh, once again, we are talking about a specialty where anything you do has a lifelong effect. Uh, so I think that th those were the major uh, reasons why I decided to go into neonatal care. The other reason also is because unlike other subspecialties, if you are a neonatologist, you are still taking care of the entire uh, individual, the neonate. Uh, not like other subspecialties where you are focused on a specific organ. I don't have anything against other subspecialties, but I like to take care of the entire patient, not just an organ. My area of expertise and interest is the lung, obviously, and uh, there are many uh, new um, um, knowledge, many new events happening really in the understanding of uh, lung diseases in the neonate and in the way we treat uh, neonatal lung diseases. So that's always interesting. And outside of, outside of the lung, but closely related, <coughs> are the issues uh, related to central nervous system uh, problems and uh, the long-term neurodevelopment of these infants. And there are, again, a number of uh, of uh, presentations that relate to that on mechanisms of brain injury and how to prevent. The name of the book is The Newborn Lung and uh, uh, although the title uh, reflects the main emphasis that is the lung, it really uh, is much broader than that. It uh, covers all the respiratory uh, uh, system and all the issues regarding respiration in the newborn. Um, most of the uh, neonates, especially the preterm infants who require intensive care, have some degree of uh, respiratory failure issues, so this has always been one of the main organs, and uh, I think that that's why most of the research and the advances have been in the area of, of respiratory physiology and respiratory care. Um, initially the idea was to come out with a second edition where the chapters would be revised, but uh, there was really so much advancement that practically all the chapters in the second edition are new chapters. Uh, all I can say is that if they are interested in neonatology, they are on the right uh, specialty and the right uh, area of medicine. I don't think that there is any other area that has made the progress over the last uh, 30, 35 years that neonatology has made in terms of survival. I think that now most of the effort has to be placed into the quality of the babies who are surviving, and that's a major issue in neonatology and the lung uh, plays a very significant role there. So many of the chapters are focused specifically on strategies to try to improve outcome. So not only we have better survival, but the babies have a better life later on.